What's up everyone? It's Steve Rugan from RCTNT. Thanks for stopping by and hope you enjoy this video. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and if you like the video, give it a good old thumbs up. Now, this guy is the M10 or M210 carton. It's pretty sweet. It's uh, The 210 is because it's a 210mm uh, wheelbase. Same as the classic Mini. Same as this guy. How cool they look. So, this one is only front wheel drive, but this guy here, not prototypical, is four wheel drive, but it doesn't look sweet. Now it comes in a few variants. This one here from, um, I'll leave a link in the description down below if you want to go check it out, is the drift version. So it comes with hard plastic drift wheels, but you can always change it out for something like this, just the basic rubber tyres to make it uh, a road car, really. It doesn't, I don't think there's much difference in between the three variants, but uh, it looks pretty cool. The benefit of this guy, it can take a stick pack a normal uh, LiPo battery. Now that, for example, is a 3S 3000 milliamp hour LiPo. The old Minis had the issue where you had to kind of use one of those round packs um, or you can 3D print something like this and put a stick pack inside that 3D printed part. But anyway, you can see the difference. Pretty sweet, eh? But same wheelbase. So if you really want, you can put this body on that or that body on this and it'll work out. I um I love minis. I always have. I always always will. They always look cool, um, in my opinion. But uh, if you are still interested in this video, stick around. I'll unbox it quick. Put, uh, put everything quickly together. Paint it up because it comes with a clear shell. And uh, let's see how I drive. By the way, I'm not that good. Okay. Now here is the box for the Carton M210 ready to run. So 210 meeting 210 millimeter wheelbase. So it's a one tenth scale four wheel drive. Mini chassis, and uh, before I get into it, so the Mini, as you can see, this classic Mini MT chassis. This is a 400, and, uh, 400, 210 millimeter chassis. Nice little paint job. But done this uh, video. I'll, uh, if I can find the video, I'll put a little card up there if you want to watch this. It's well overpowered. Uh, it's front wheel drive. This guy, and uh, what did I put in there? I put a hobby wing. I think Easy Run Max 10 Shawcross ESC. Too much power. It's also the hobby wing combo with the motor as well. <laughs> Way too much power, but these are super fun. But the good thing about, I think, the 210 kit, the carton, is the bodies and stuff like that can uh, fit. I think it's a little bit wider, but uh, we'll see what we can do. We've also got the older or the newer style mini body there, but you can't go past the classic, classic mini shells. I love them, but there it is. I might actually take that motor out because it's way overpowered, but it does look pretty cool when it's all on there. I must admit, when it's all lowered and uh, the front end on, it looks pretty cool, especially those purple wheels and the black. But anyway, let's get back onto the carton. So this one, it's, uh, the link's down below if you want to go check it out. I don't know if they sell all the models, but the one that I got uh, sent to me was a M210 RTR drift car. So it has a rally or road touring. So I'm pretty sure that just means the tyres. So I'm pretty sure you can just change the tyres or maybe some suspension settings. But the cool thing about this, it's four-wheel drive but in that kind of size. And this is what, what really got me excited. Let's just go through it here. A nice instruction manual, stickers, always good. So, sorry about the banging, you hear some banging, there's some construction going on next door, so sorry about that. You get uh, body pins, some other hardware, antenna, preload clips, all that kind of good stuff. What really, what I really love, check out this. This is an old school mini like a ute or flatbed or whatever you want to call them <laughs> how cool is that looks mad once you paint it up it looks really cool another part here something else maybe the wing or maybe for the back i'm not too sure ah uh, but you think oh wow that's pretty cool package it needs a remote control and all that kind of cool stuff it, it's ready to run apart from a battery and charger that is all you need to get for this guy because <laughs> look at this little anemic 2.4 gigahertz controller like it's tiny but it will do the trick obviously has your all your standard stuff that you need steering dual rates throttle dual rate as well throttle trim steering trim reverse switch on and off button <laughs> and all that kind of good stuff but check out the size of that that is a remote controller for ants that really is wow well, that's yeah, I haven't really seen one that small, but uh, hey, it works, and you can throw it around like that because it's nothing's going to break because it's so small. No uh, antenna sticking out, it's a stubby little antenna, but yeah, I guess it will work. But what we want to see is this guy. 
get rid of that, nothing else in the box. How cool does that look? So let's just do the first test. Let's get the mini body. Oh yeah, apart from the front, uh, this front bumper here catching, that foam piece. I definitely think you'll be able to make that fit. There we go. <laughs> that looks badass. I love them, but I think the carton body is a little bit wider. No, 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 perfect. Actually, that works out pretty good. It's just this front bumper is catching. But if you, if we could manage to fit that on there or trim that front bumper, you could use this as well. Because if you look at that, uh, look at that 210, the wheelbase, it fits right pretty much in the center. So that should mean if we get this other. Oh, mini shell, but it can't because with the body post it would fit as well. But we can definitely line up the wheel wells and definitely does. It surely does fit. And let's get uh, the newer chassis here or the newer body. There we go. <laughs> yeah, slammed dub style that is. But this particular, the newer shell is a bit wider anyway, as you can see. I'll flush it up all the way to this side and it's got about five mil clearance underneath here so it's, it's it's significantly wider but still doesn't look as cool no way no way hell but there you go it does fit so let's go through a little bit so as you can see it is ready to run now have a look at the bottom it's that's all flat carbon fiber obviously now it's got some cable ties that uh, I don't want to see them we don't want to see them guys do we get rid of those so yeah I, I know there are different uh, versions and I'm pretty sure it'll just be like the uh, the tire and all that kind of stuff because as you can see here these look slick but they are pretty hard as you can hear it hard as a donut that is but and you can there you, go, you can push it very easily okay so let's go through the shed yourself because to be honest guys I know these aren't exactly brand new but uh, I haven't seen them but I, I do love the smaller 210mm chassis, I love the little quirky designs, I think they look cool and they're really fun to drive. But the limitations obviously with just being front wheel drive for this particular uh, Tamiya chassis, um, you know, it's fun, it's got its own driving characteristics, but I do love four wheel drive, especially in this small little package. So, it's a 110 scale, M210, so 210mm chassis, it's got a 60 amp uh, ESC, it's got little jumpers there so you can adjust the settings. It's also running a 25 turn brushed motor there as you can see 25T RS540 size motor as well full ready to run obviously you just need to get a battery and charger but that is all that you need it's obviously it's got a steering servo everything is nicely laid down as you can see it's sandwiched in between a lot of carbon fiber and I do like it's actually got like metal like nice little touches there like that metal mount for the steering servo all underneath is flush mount, obviously nice carbon fibre chassis there, completely flat as a door nail, but as, look at that, I was just looking at that, how's that for scale, it's got scale disc brakes in the wheel, so it does look really cool, and I love those wheels, the old school mini wheels, they definitely look really cool, I, uh, I think they've done a good job with that, now it's got uh, all metal transmission obviously, it's got a nice, see there, Center chassis drive shaft, nicely anodized in like a gold color, 210 millimeters. That's aluminium steel drive shaft, CVDs all around as well. Plastic shocks with preload adjustments, but they, they do feel really nice. They do have oil in them, that's a, that's a start. Chassis brace here up top is all carbon fiber, same as the uh, under underneath. This spur gear. Plastic spur gear it seems, yeah, plastic spur, metal pinion obviously, but uh, a nice metal or aluminium motor mount to help dissipate that heat from the 540 motor. Nice adjustments up top for your camber, I can see no toe-in adjustments for the rear at the front, obviously and the back you also have, uh, front and back you have the adjustments for your suspension mounts camber and toe in and toe out obviously up here 
and camera adjustments just there as well. It looks like you also do have droop screws as well, just in there, droop screws, so you screw that in or out and you can lower or raise the right height as you see fit, which is pretty cool. A really nice foam bumper, and if you want to fit that old school other mini body, I just have to trim that a little bit, but that is sandwiched nicely in between that carbon fiber, it's not going anywhere, but you know, it does look really nice. Look how cute and stubby these front little uh, control arms are, or A-arms. They look like they're reversible, you can see that little, you can see there the suspension mount. I don't know if you can spin that around and use the other position if you want, so it sits up more vertically, if you know what I mean, because currently it's sitting like that, if you use the other one you can maybe sit it more vertically if you spin it around. Not too sure if any of you guys have this actual kit, let me know because I'd be interested to, to know, that's for sure. But uh, I like it, I really do like this strap too, check out this battery straps that runs the whole way down. Now let's just get a let's just get a lipo here see how it fits. So this is a full size this is a 3000 milliamp hour 3 cell fits in there like a in a sock. You know exactly what I mean. Yeah that should work. There we go. Fits. Pretty cool and that's gonna give it nice balance too because all the electronics and your motor is on this side. Once a battery goes in there, it should be fairly even with weight distribution and all that kind of good stuff. Now I'm just checking out this steering. It's got a it's a weird looking setup. How it's kind of off center, so it's not completely straight. When the wheels are straight, the servo horn is like that. But it's like that for a reason, I guess. And what's cool? I'm looking at that down here. You got like a See that servo that connects the left and right? It's like on a track. It runs, it runs, see right there? It runs like in a track. So maybe that's, I'm not too sure why, but that seems, that works really well. Keeps it nice and stable and steady, I guess. When cornering and just through natural motion and just wear and tear, I think it's pretty cool. But yeah, there's the back side of that servo horn. Interesting. Pretty cool now. The body comes in, like I mentioned previously, it is an old school mini, but the ute, or in Australia we call these utes with the, the uh, flat bed, or so you can store it at the back. I think in America they call it utility vehicle, or pickup truck, or whatever you want to call it. But even, uh, even the, even the, um, with this standard body, it comes with, I think this front bumper needs to be trimmed out because it's still hitting there as well, but it's going to look pretty cool. So unfortunately I have to contact the manual here to figure out how to open this controller and I didn't really find any info but what you do is it's like a it's like a gun I was like how the deuce do you open this you've got this little switch here look at this it's like a magazine so you put four four triple A batteries in there sorry and you just slide this all back together but check this out so the manual is pretty cool it's, it uh, tells you everything you need to do it's actually really intensive sorry about that banging like I said that's the uh, now we're going popping off, but I was looking through the manual and it had uh, the cars here, <laughs> here, look at these, awesome, so that's the one we have here, <laughs> NBA 806 body I believe, really cool manual, but let's plug everything in, plug the car up already, turn the controller on, so it's got a nice little switch here with a rubber boot on it, let's turn this guy on. There we go. So that is, that's taken a LiPo battery, no problem. But why is that off center? Hmm, on the further investigation, I'll just swatch, um, put the throttle in the opposite channels. And uh, so that's obviously on the throttle channel because I was thinking, why is the server not working? So it works, but, and I put the throttle onto steering, and it seems like this is Cactus, his fourth channel. Receiver, so I'm not leaving anything out of the review if it doesn't work, so that seems to don't want to play anymore. Hmm. Okay. Swap that bad boy out anyway. I don't want to use it. I'll use my trusty Flies Guy and I'll uh, see how it works. Hooked up my trusty FS GT3 uh, Flies Guy receiver in there and it all works as it should. Get, kick that other one to the curb. Fantastic. 
So yeah, really so small. Happy little thing there. Definitely does uh, boogie. What I do, I should uh, get all that uh, body painted up. And uh, see if we can actually get some drifts happening because uh, like everyone knows, I'm not the best at this. Obviously painted in my famous RCTNT colours, white. I love white, but it uh, looks pretty sweet, eh? Now I've um, just cut the body post down to a height, how I think it looks pretty cool. Don't want to rub too much. Looks pretty nice, pretty mean. I love these old school mini looking wheels, the traditional ones. I think they look really cool. But I've just got a 3000 milliamp hour stick pack in here. Good thing about this chassis, it is four drive and it also does take these mad normal style, normal size uh, batteries like the, um, the uh, old Tamiya ones had issues with that. This one, normal size batteries, smack it in, 3S, uh, 3000 milliamps. So it should be fine just to give it its first test. But there we go. So now I'll put it on the ground here. I'll, uh, I'll get my little chest mount so I can use two hands and I'll see if I can just go kind of around these other two minis. First test, don't judge. Okay, let's go. First test. Oh. This way. Very far, that's for sure. Oh. How cool does it look though? It looks mad. The good thing about it, you can get the, well it comes in different variants, like this is a drift ver variant but it does come in the road or um, all that kind of stuff. So it's very same sh chassis, I think it's just different wheels and tyres. Three airs is plenty of punch on this thing. <laughs> That's... Oh, maybe gas is the, uh, the more throttle is the trick. Mm, maybe not. Oh, come on, come on. Damn it. Let's, uh, let's see the top speed on this little thing. <laughs> I don't know, it's not meant for this, but whatever. I love that body, looks mad. Oh, go, go, go. Yes. Pretty cool, eh? Ooh. This will be really fun with the uh, road tires on there. Because, you know, I don't drift myself that much. Obviously, you can tell. But... they be really good with the uh, road tyres, in my opinion. Let's get this down over here again. Oh, if only I can do that every single time. A 
it's just about that balance and once you find that kind of spot obviously a lot of it's just bloody uh, practice makes perfect if you're thinking about drifting I notice you don't break as much stuff it just glances off everything it's just it's not like when you're bashing you're guaranteed to break something <laughs> oh guys, it's pretty, pretty fun. But uh, if you guys want to check out this car, I'll leave the link in the description. Here's from Bangalore. They do look awesome. Like, check that out. Mini's are one of my favourite cars. Let's check them out. And 210 wheelbase, now it's exactly the same as this guy here. And that's the uh, classic Tamiya Mini. So they're exactly the same. But don't they look cool? I think they look great in my opinion, but uh, each of their own. The original Mini is only front wheel drive, but the good, the good thing about this M M210 is it's four wheel drive. Not uh, prototypical, but makes it pretty fun for this type of stuff. Look at that. Anyway, I'll um, get this guy closer. What do you guys think? If you guys have this car or carton cars or, or are there any issues with them, please let me know. Because to be honest, this is my first one, so I'm unfamiliar with them. But the quality so far seems really good. I like all the carbon fibre underneath. It does look fantastic. Um, the only problem with that, look at that. If you have some like metal parts on the ground, it'll get attracted up into there and hopefully not cause too much heat issues. We've got to make sure that is uh, addressed. Just take them out with another magnet. Apart from that, everything looks good. Aluminium heat sink for the uh, help with the heat. The only issue I had was that uh, receiver that will seem to be the uh, steering channel seems to be faulty but I changed it with the flight sky and everything works well but 23 turn I think it's got more than enough punch for this little guy it's a 540 motor but uh, I think it looks cool but anyway guys links in the description go check it out hope you enjoyed the video and uh, I'll see you in the next one cheers